And I, I, that, I hope that people do go away thinking um, about themselves, their own families. As for the teenagers, I want everybody to come because I just want our community to see the talent yeah. that we have in Chittings County. On stage, in the pit. And as Stephen Jones used to say, we hear all about the bad kids, but we never see the good kids. Hi, I'm Sandy Wildy, Mrs. Wildy, and I'm the director of the musical. And I'm uh, Annette Sims, and I am the assistant. Together we have been here, well, there was a year or two that we weren't together, but I've been here for 12 years. She was here for, I've been here for, I'm going on my 19th year. Mm -hmm. This musical means a lot to me because this musical is what our world is going through right now, I think, personally. Um, especially United States, America. Um, because, personally, we both believe this, that America was build, built on um, godly beliefs. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, that's a big struggle in America right now. And um, many families are going through the same struggles that Tevya the leading character in the, the musical is going through um, as his daughters want to break tradition and go away from their faith. Even one daughter actually goes away from their faith in uh, her marriage to someone completely out of the faith. Um, and that's what our, our world is going through right now, is where do you... One line that he says is, if I bend too much, I will break. Golda, darling, I have to see you because I have such news for you. And not just every day of the week news, once in a lifetime news. So where are your daughters? Outside? Good. Such diamonds, such jewels. I'll find each one of them a match. You'll see. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband, God forbid. And who should know better than me? I'm a poor widow, alone. No one to talk to. Nothing to say to anyone. It's no life. Ah, uh, he's finally up. What happened last night besides your drinking like a peasant? Did you see Laser Wolf? What did he say? What did you say? Do you have news? Patience, woman. As the good book says, good news will stay and bad news will refuse to leave. You know, there's also another saying. Oh, you can die from such a man. My role is Golda, the mother, the proud mother of Zydel, and four, and four other daughters. I am excited. I'm super excited. I'm super nervous because I have, I am sustaining an injury right now. But she'll be fine. But I'll It'll be, be fine. Okay. And luckily, I've been given a part this year that doesn't dance. So even if I'm not fine, <laughs> it's going to be fine. Oh. I'm sad that it's my last musical here, but I'm determined that it's not going to be my last musical. I'm trying to be on Broadway, for real, so... <laughs> it's a big dream, but it's enough to get me through the sadness of this being my last musical here. Since I, I know, I know this will not be my last musical. It just won't. I don't know how much of the general public knows what Fiddler on the Roof is or what it's about, but it's basically about a family who lives in Russia during the time of Hitler's reign, as it's just getting started pretty much. That doesn't come into play until like halfway through. But basically the idea is the whole village where they live is very stuck in their Jewish ways, and a big part of that is that the father arranges every marriage, and in this particular family, there's a father of five daughters, so he's planned to arrange five different marriages. But a certain daughter of, of ours falls in love on her own accord, followed by 
the next two oldest daughters and then fall in love on their own accord without the help of a matchmaker or without the father making decisions. And while that may seem like a boring musical, I promise it's not. There is comedic relief. I'm part of this comedic relief. She's very funny. Yenta, the matchmaker, is part of this comedic relief. Zydel's got some comedic stuff. It's going to be entertaining. Even if it sounds like a boring storyline, it will be very entertaining. And I think anybody who comes to see this musical would enjoy it. So you should come on Friday night, so you can come back again on Saturday. Well, Zydel, my child, why are you so silent? Aren't you happy with this blessing? Oh, Papa, Papa! What is it? I can't marry him. I can't. What do you mean you can't? If I say you will, you will. Papa, if it's a matter of money, I'll do anything. I'll hire myself out as a servant. I'll help di I'll dig ditches. I'll haul rocks. <laughs> Don't make me marry him, Papa, please. What's wrong with Lazar? He likes you. Papa, I will be unhappy with him. All my life will be unhappy. I'll dig ditches. I'll haul rocks. But we made an agreement. With us, an agreement is an agreement. My role is Zydel, who is the oldest daughter. I am so excited. Yeah, we've started practicing a couple weeks now and have a lot to look forward to. I think we all work really well together. I mean, we haven't had a lot of experience this year together, but throughout the rest of the years, we've worked well together, so yeah. I have done the musical every year since freshman year. Um, but I've usually done a dancing role or just a chorus role, so it's different to have a lot of lines, but I'm really excited about it, so. As for me, I don't know as far as musicals go if I will do any more uh, in the future, it's possible. Um, but as far as high school goes, I mean, there's, this is the last one for high school in this time of my life. But I am looking forward to uh, making it the best. So, yeah. To the public, you need to come because every everyone just seems so dedicated, you know, and I think that everybody's going to try their best. Well, I think it's going to be different than the musicals we've done in the past, too. Um, a lot of cool choreography, uh, really tough music, so the pit, I mean, I think they're going to have their work cut out for them, but they can handle it. And as for vocals, I think we've got a lot of good vocalists, too, and dancers and everything. So I just think there's a lot of great qualities of our musical that'll produce a great show. So. The leading characters are being fabulous leaders in every sense of the way. They're mm -hmm. They're doing their parts wonderfully and they're encouraging everyone else and um, they're lifting the bar. So everybody else does it well too. For the longer line that has people of different heights, but everything needs to be like perfect. Like yes, you should be like standing. Because it's more important that your arms be like this and your arms be held. Because when you hold hands, you're all your hands end up right here. And it's just Hey, do you do you have a script? So it doesn't matter. Can I use it for a second? Like you can hold it well. Um, do you ever get overwhelmed or how do you get through <laughs> <laughs> the stressful times during the musical? Well, this morning before I left home, I sang one day at a time, <laughs> literally, to my husband. And, um, yeah, it's just one moment at a time. I'm a list maker. We're both list makers, and I, I just make lists and literally just one moment at a time. And then sometimes you just have to walk away. Or you'll say the wrong thing. Yeah. Fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But here in our little village of Anatevka, you might say every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. It's not easy. My name's Colton Pearson. I am a senior, and I am Tevya in the musical. Um, Tevya is the father of five daughters. He has a wife named Golda. They're not particularly um, nice to each other because of their tradition. They've always been kind of, um, they, they weren't, they didn't know each other before they met. So it's arranged marriages and um, 
Tevi is a poor milkman and he works hard. And that's what the story is about is his life and his um, how he deals with his daughter's situations and so forth. So on and so forth. Again with the rich. What's so wrong with being rich? I definitely, me personally, I definitely relate. I can um, characterize with the, with the, um, like the, the hard work aspect that Tevye has. He has like the, the, he's doing the hard work and like nobody really gives him credit for it. And he's just like talking to God a lot. And I value like personal time a lot. I think I can definitely identify with Tevye when, and by saying that I um, have a lot of alone time. A lot of time to think things out for myself. Where does it stop? Don't I have anything to say about my own daughter? Or doesn't anyone have to ask the father anymore? I, I've wanted to talk to you, Antonio, for some time now, but I wanted to buy her my own sewing machine. So stop I'm talking nonsense, Mono! You're just a poor tailor! That may be true, Antonio, but even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. What kind of match would that be? A poor tailor. <laughs> Goodness. But on the other hand, he is an honest, hard worker. But on the other hand, he has absolutely nothing. But on the other hand, things could never get worse for him. They can only get better. This musical, uh, it's my senior year. Um, and I never, I haven't done a musical yet. So it was really scary for me to try out um, for the lead because I've never done it before, I have no experience. But um, one thing that really drove me was um, my friends, my family, um, Mrs. Wildy, Annette, really driving me to um, try out, try harder, um, just put in the work to to get like to to make it good, really. Uh, another thing, uh, Josh Groban, his senior uh, musical was Friendly on the Roof, and he played Tevia. So that was also another little thing that kind of pushed me towards wanting Tevia and you know following in his footsteps. Not playing, but yeah. <laughs> uh, is it a lot a lot of pressure being the lead? Um, yeah, but uh, I, I thought it would be at first. I thought it'd be a lot of pressure, but it, th this musical is really fun, so it's easy to obsess over. It's really, it's really easy to listen to the soundtrack, get addicted to it, and just listen to it over and over again. To where it's, it's almost a, um, a repetition type thing. Like you have fun with it. It's not nagging. It's not like oh, I gotta go to musical practice today. So um, that definitely helps with the pressure. <laughs> people that are also in the musical, um, Alana Degger, um, a lot of people that have just like kind of helped me. I haven't been here before. I asked a lot of questions on because I want it to be good. I want it to be really, really good. So I ask a lot of questions, and um, it's just I've been helped with open arms, and everyone has just invited me in, and um, it's really nice. We have a really good. Uh, core group here with the seniors and also with the underclassmen and it just feels so organic and um, we have a good time so a lot of um, the cast members are also in touch of class so and most of them I've been in touch of class with and since I was a sophomore so and I've always known them my whole life and we just building relationships throughout through music and through performing and now we finally get here <clears throat> We get to the musical, and um, yeah, we, we have a great relationship with um, all of my TOC seniors, all the people in TOC, and even people that aren't in TOC. Um, 
Just have a, we just have a good time. Hold her hand when you say that. It reminds me of the Grinch. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. He's beginning to talk like a man. Oh, are they hoobie wuddy? Do you see what I mean? He's just like all day. All day hoobie wuddy? I can't do the accent. Jim Carrey is so much better than that. Where are you This is Sandra Wildey. She's been my choir director since I was a freshman. And she is, uh, she is a great woman. Um, she has always, she's always helped me um, reach the places that I haven't thought I could go. The places that I'm scared to go. And um, I, th I believe that that's one really, that's a major part in setting goals for yourself because if your goals are too short, if you're not afraid of your goals, and you're not setting goals that are going to progress you and make you better. So Miss Wadi has always been um, someone that has helped me get to those um, certain levels, um, helped me open up to dancing, um, singing, performing even, and um, Annette is just, she's a great woman. Uh, I'm so glad I got to meet her. She handles all the kind of behind the scenes things for choir. She's a, she's awesome. Uh, there's not really much else to say. Uh, yeah, it's it's scary um, to think about leaving the high school. Uh, and it's scary to think about not being here anymore because we've been here for so long and what's gonna happen next year. Like, we're not here. Um, and I just hope that um, the underclassmen can step up next year and be as good as they always are. and. If, if not better, as me and my fellow seniors move on to um, things further in our lives and, you know, just get better, you know. I, I hope to, um, this musical is really, it's, it's, it's set, a, it's, it's old, really old, so a lot of people know it, but it has a really deep story with tradition, the, um, the breaking of tradition even, and it has strong uh, humor in the first act, but there's always this underlying plot that's the the Jews being evicted um, which I think it, it sets a gloomy tone for the second act um, the second act is definitely a more gloomy act while the first one is full of levity full of uh, cheer a lot of celebration type thing and um, 
I just, I'd really like the crowd to um, leave the musical thinking that it was, um, it was good seeing all the, the hard work that me and my uh, classmates, my musical mates, put in the pit as well. Um, seeing all the hard work finally pay off on stage. Thank you for coming, if you did come. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you liked it a lot. Um, me and my um, classmates have been working really hard to make this um, a good musical, make it one of the better mus musicals that have been through Jennings County. And I know with the um, with the cast list we have, uh, we can definitely make it that. Just appreciate you coming, and thank you for supporting Jennings County.